Hey everyone, so here is our new chest freezer. It's a five cubic foot chest freezer, which is plenty for us. So, don't have anything in it yet. Oops, sorry about the blur. So I'll show you the inside. All right, there's the inside. Pretty deep, so I think we can get a lot in here. I put a thermometer in here and it is reading about five below zero in here <laughs> so it's already frosting so we didn't want to put anything in it right away we figure we'll give it overnight to really uh, get cold so came with a little scraper for uh, defrosting so so yeah that's our new freezer this is a uh, Arctic King we got it off Amazon Good morning everyone. Welcome to Wednesday morning. Welcome to a new day. Uh, so it is bright and sunny this morning. It's 7.42 right now and I'm going to make breakfast. So I'll be making some uh, ham and cheese omelets this morning. So I'll show you what I'm using. So yeah, it's only supposed to get up to 38 today. Um, big difference from the 63 we had yesterday. Uh, even though it was only it was 63 it was still a little chilly at times because we had the high winds but regardless uh it was a nice day we got out so so yeah um other than that let me show you what i'm using in my omelets all right everyone so i have everything i'm going to be using except uh the butter the butter is just to fry them all obviously so i got some shredded cheese here and that's a combo of uh, double cheddar and sharp cheddar. I just had a couple open bags of cheese, so I just combined them. Uh, I have some cut up ham here, and that's from the pack of ham I did. I got at the meat market hall. So we actually, um, this is our fifth meal out of that pack of ham. And we still have uh, half a slice left for another meal or a... Uh, breakfast or something so we, we did pretty good on that ham if you haven't seen that video I'll leave the link to that video for the meat market haul in the description below so you can check it out so I will give an update on how many meals we have had so far on that meat market haul and how many meats we have left so we're doing pretty good so far all right back to the ingredients I have a cup of jalapeno chopped up jalapeno and black olives in here. I have a cup of paste picante sauce and three eggs. Uh, Glenn usually likes just a one egg omelet. I usually like a two egg omelet, so that's why we only got three eggs there. So that is everything I'm using. So I am going to get started so we can have some breakfast. <music> So there's Glenn's omelet. So again, you can see the olives and the jalapeno on the outside of the egg. That's how he likes it. So 
Again, omelets never come out perfect, but it's what matters is that it tastes good. So there's Glenn's breakfast for this Wednesday morning. I'll be right back to cook mine. Okay, everyone, so there is my omelet. Just a ham and cheese omelet. So that is what's for breakfast on this Wednesday morning. Stay tuned for whatever happens next. Hey, everyone, so breakfast is over and it was good. So Glenn, Glenn enjoyed his uh, hot, spicy omelet. <laughs> Apparently, I put enough spice in there for him, so he said he was sweating a little bit. So, yeah, he enjoyed his uh, spicy omelet, and my omelet was good as well. So, Glenn's napping right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just actually wanted to give a couple of things an uh, update on how we're doing, as far as how we're feeling now, and Prissy, and Glenn, and myself. So... Uh, Prissy is wonderful. She is back to normal. Uh, she is feeling much better. So yeah, she's back to herself. She's doing what she normally does. Uh, she's back to meowing at me when she wants to be fed. So and when I don't get it fast enough for her, she turns her meows up a notch or two. So and that's okay. That's actually music to her ears. We We love that she's meowing again so and eating obviously so so yeah she's doing very well thank you all for your prayers uh for prissy glenn and myself um glenn is feeling much better he's been he's been able to eat pretty good um so and my stomach's uh doing better uh my back is still healing um yeah it's feeling better every day so yeah, yesterday when we went outside, um, I did do some stuff in the garage that um, kind of felt it at the end, but I got the freezer set up, I moved stuff around, cleaned up my bird feeder stuff, put those my empty bird feeders in totes, and uh, the hardest part was lifting the freezer off the foam and box that it was standing on to get it on the floor, so, but, so yeah. After doing all that, I was, my back was done. <laughs> so, yeah, it's still healing, um, but it is feeling better every day. So, just, yeah, so that's, that's how we're doing, doing much better. We appreciate all your thoughts and prayers. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, I didn't vlog outside yesterday. Yeah. I just got caught up in doing that stuff in the garage, and then by the time it was done, it was, it was getting cooler, so I came in the house a little while before Glenn, he stayed out and uh, worked on his RC stuff, so he was in his own little world there, so I just let him be, yeah, and I didn't vlog in the garage because uh, obviously we can't have music, copyright music on our videos, and uh, we like to listen to music when we're in the garage working, so I didn't want to have to turn it down because Glenn likes to listen to that. So do I. So I didn't want to have to turn the music down. He hasn't been able to get out of the house very often, so I just, you know, let him be in peace working on his stuff, listening to music. So, yeah, other than that, I actually just wanted to give you a little tour of my uh, work area for my Etsy shop. So... Yeah, I'm just going to give you a little tour. I'm not sure if I forgot anything. I did receive some more coupons in the mail from Pick and Save. I'll just show you what I got from there. So, looks like some pretty good coupons. So, yeah, uh, let's just go over the coupons and go through a little tour of my work area, okay? All right, so here's uh, the coupons I received in yesterday's mail. Again, 
pick and save sends you coupons, personal coupons based on what your purchases have been. So up here we have applesauce, and I believe that's Kroger brand. Uh, 40 cents off avocados. You have to buy two or more of the, the bulk avocados. Uh, sour cream, 40 cents off. 75 cents off hand soap. This is uh, called Method uh, Method Hand Soap, Hand Wash. And I bought that a couple times. They're not cheap. They're like $3 a bottle, so I haven't bought those in a while. And save $0.80 cents off two Paste Picante sauce, which is great, um, because I'll probably need to stock up on that again. Save a dollar off, look at that, Lindor's Chocolate Truffles. Right up my alley. <laughs> and then this one, save $1.50 on two packages of any flavor, Pillsbury, uh, pizza crust, or French bread. So, and we don't have any pizza crust, so that'll be good to buy. And now that we have a freezer, I could uh, stock some in the freezer. Save 90 cents on brawny paper towels. Save 55 cents on Kroger brand butter, which is good because we are starting to run low on butter. And save 50 cents off Kroger brand oil, which is good. Save 40 cents off eggs. And our free item is one box of 11 to 15 ounce fruity pebbles. Absolutely free. So, so some pretty good coupons. I'll be using, uh, majority of these and they are good until May 2nd so yeah all right let me show you around my little Etsy work area here okay so this is uh just the overview of the work area and as you can see it's very small it's just a really small corner of our living room here I don't have any fancy uh, craft room or anything I basically use what I what I already have. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have any fancy tables. As you can see, that big table is just a folding table that you would take uh, to set up for a party or something. So, yeah, I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on a uh, little uh, table, a craft table or something, when that table does the same thing another expensive table would do. So... All right, so I will get a little closer and show you what we got here. All right, so as you can see, that's my monitor. Uh, again, uh, I mentioned that when I did a video on my new computer. That's a 21 and a half inch monitor, and it's great because um, it's nice and big for me. And in that video, too, where I talked about my new computer, I said I was going to take this uh, keyboard back. Uh, that I had purchased just to set it set up my new computer, but I have decided to keep it because I do like the number keypad on the side, so and it's nice and big for me. So I decided to keep that. All right. Um, so this is the end of the table here. Basically, got our common carbon monoxide detector at the end of the table because there's a, a furnace vent right below this table. So. If it's going to set off, it's right above it. So, And I just actually, here, let me move a little bit different here. Okay, so I just set up this, uh, I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's a Jot pencil holder. And I got all my pens and markers in there, Sharpies and whatnot. I actually just set that up. I usually keep the pens and stuff in a drawer. Because I want to see what happens. Blackie likes to chew on pens. So if I see that he's starting to get interested in that, I'll have to put those back in the drawer. <laughs> so, and this is just something I have to send back to Amazon. This is just my, basically my main working table. There's a, like a cutting board. But this is where I use to write out stuff and pack stuff. Okay, so, yeah, the main computer here works off the monitor, and that's my main working station. 
when I'm doing orders or what, you know, YouTube videos or stuff. Um, but I have my little tablet here and it's set up with a little keyboard and a mouse. They're both Bluetooth, so there's no wires there. Um, I actually use that little tablet if I want to watch a movie while I'm working or whatever I'm doing over here, I'll use my tablet to watch a movie. So, or if I'm watching uh, other YouTube videos and I want to comment, I got my keyboard there. So, all right. And then in back here, I got the little Bose speaker, speaker, speaker here. And then in back is where that little computer is. Yeah, it's so small that it just fits in that little corner there. And I got this uh, jump drive hooked into it. Um, that's where I have most of my photography photos and videos. That's a pretty good sized drive there. And then I just got a lampshade up here from Walmart. There's my printer. And these are, uh, these are pictures. I got to make magnets out of those. Uh, these are just stickers I put on. These are the round stickers I use. And these are stickers I put on the orders. Thank you for your order with the Dreamcatcher. Um, I use different different uh, things on there. I don't always use a Dreamcatcher. I just use different stuff. So uh, this is my ink. My ink's right here. Uh, scale. I've got a couple rulers down on the side here. And on the side here, I got this uh, handle thing. That's my paper cut, my paper trimmer, the guillotine. So when I'm not using it, I just put it between those two. And this is my set of drawers that all my materials are for my Etsy shop and some other stuff in the other drawer. So I'll go over that. On top here is basically our uh, charging, my charging station. So I have a power strip that I sticky back to the top here so it doesn't move. And I would normally charge my phones here. Uh, again, I have two phones. One that carries the service and one that I just, that I'm using right now to record this. And that's all I use it for is video and pictures. So I have my uh, gimbal right here. And then down here I have my two cameras. This is my very first camera, a Canon T3 Rebel. I don't use that a whole lot anymore, but I still do at times where I want to take quick shots. And this is my Nikon Coolpix P900. All of my bird videos and any, uh, any type of those videos are taken with this. And my close-up bird shots are also taken with that. And basically, most of my, basically all of my photography these days is, are taken with this camera. So, and you've seen how long our backyard is. This camera can zoom in across our backyard to the neighbor's yard back there, way back, in back of our backyard to where their chicken coop is. So, that's why I have this camera. It's a, a fixed lens, so you can't interchange the lenses, but that's the specific reason I bought this camera. It gives me that, that zoom distance without having to buy another expensive zoom lens. So that's my main camera. And this is just, uh, we use these in the summer for camping. Uh, just the, uh, oops, sorry. Just a little lantern. It's a USB chargeable. And I keep it right here. One, because when I need to charge it, I have two. Um, but these are good. I keep it right here. If I'm in this area and we lose power at night or something, then I can just turn this on for light. Okay. And on top here are two-way radios, our charging dock. And then these are our old radios, which the charged, uh, the batteries went to crap and the charging 
I think the charging dock wasn't working anymore. So we just have regular batteries in those, so we still are able to use them. And then down here, I have two extra batteries for this camera. This is my little tiny camera, the one that it's called an action camera, but it's it's basically a uh, it's not a GoPro, it's just another name action camera. So a lot of, most people use GoPros. This is a very good action camera. So this is what I got and it's more photo affordable than a GoPro. <laughs> but it, this is what I use on my chest harness uh, when I take you guys in the grocery stores. And when I'm driving, this is what I hook up as well. So this will be used a lot this summer. And this is just uh, two batteries for this camera, this little camera here, and the charging dock for it. It actually came with the camera, the two batteries and the charging dock, so that's good. So yeah, that's the top right there. So yeah, this is basically a charging station. All right, so I will go through the drawers. Starting off over here, basically a little stationary drawer. Little notebook in case I need to write some notes. This is a corner trimmer, a white out strip from the Dollar Tree. This is a, um, what I use to stick photos to cards, cardstock, and just scissors and things like that. This drawer, basically my junk drawer, keys, wallet, things like that. This is where I hold my round stickers, what I just showed you that I put on my orders. This is for that. This is my magnet drawer. These are filled with uh, little bits of magnet that I'm going to make smaller magnets and maybe just sell them in like a, a bunch. So, and then my full sheets of magnet down here. This is extra. So when I print out photos for magnets, I print out extras and throw them in here. So if I get an order, I'll just take it out of here. And then this is my drawer full of charging cords, thing, uh, jump drives, SD cards, and things like that. Little notebook for uh, shipping weights. This is for future projects. Notebooks, some miniature notebooks for future projects. So my cardstock. Um, these are just little cellophane bags, like this one right here. When I make magnets, I can't hardly see it, but and I'll put them in this bag and tape it up. It's got it's got a adhesive strip here that closes it. Then I got bigger ones for uh, my address labels. And this is just extra stuff, but mainly this is where I put my copy paper in when I print my shipping labels. This top drawer here on the other side has all my address label sheets. This is my, you can see there's uh, little strips between them, so there's different ad address label sheets. This is my main one here, then I have clear ones, orange ones, uh, paper craft brown color ones and real small address labels. I mainly sell basically this one right here. This drawer has all my photo paper. I have different different photo papers in here. I have sticker photo paper. This is all my letter envelopes. They have adhesive strip on the back. This drawer right here has my six by nine envelopes and some padded bubble padded envelopes that I send magnets in. I just get a refill. I have a whole box of them. I just get a refill them. And this is just extra cam access camera accessories down here that I don't use as often. And I just got a little garbage can there for all my all my garbage when I'm working here. 
so yeah this is basically where I do my work and that's all I need I don't need a big craft room um, you know some people do need big craft rooms because they do different projects this is for what I do in my Etsy shop this is all I need so if I get to do something bigger then maybe I need a bigger area but for now this is working for me so yeah I just thought I'd show you where I work and what my area is like Okay, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, tour of my work area, my Etsy work area. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, French dip sandwiches tonight, so I'll cut this video off right now, and then the French dip sandwiches will be on tomorrow's video. So, so yeah, I'm going to post this the same day I'm making the video. <laughs> so, French dip sandwiches tonight. Uh... I got some other things to talk about, so that'll be in tomorrow's video as well. So yeah, that's it for now. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and yeah, that's it. I hope you all have a great day. So remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.